Hello everybody, welcome back to Code Arena. So today we are going to make this review section with HTML and CSS. So basically this will help to improve our HTML and CSS skills and make them more better. So let's get started. First I will open VS Code and I've made two files index.html and styles.css. So first I will make a boilerplate with HTML by hitting the exclamation mark and after that I will give the title to just review. Okay. And then I will link to styles.css and uh, now we will go live. Okay. So this is the real one and we will recreate this. Okay, so let's study that what are the things which are required in it. So basically we are having this body and inside this body we are having this um, rectangular shaped container and inside it we are having a heading and uh, now the main thing which is these small boxes if we hover to this and uh, we are having this emoji and this text and we are having these three. Okay, I will make it more easier for you. So let's start we have seen that we are having a container okay so we will make a div and we will name it container okay now inside this container we are having a heading so first we will make the heading headings div now we are having this small box wrap so we will make one more div and we will name it box wrap okay now inside this box wrap we are having one emoji and a word okay any word so first i will make a div of emoji and let's have some emojis so first we are having this best one emoji inside this box wrap we are having a word so we'll make the div and we will set it for text so let's write it for best. So this is the best. If anyone wants to review that this is the best one, so they can click here. Okay, so let's save this and see the result. Okay, we are having this small thing. Now we will go to styles.css and first we will set the body. We will just style the body like linear gradient. And then inside this body, I will set the background color to first linear gradient and uh, first we will go with to left bottom so all the gradient is coming from the left bottom so to left bottom let's do it light blue and pink i love this combination so let's see the result we are having the separation now when we do this min height so this is the minimum height 100 vh okay so now we are perfectly done and uh, now we will make this all things in center so before going to that i will set the heading to review okay let's save this and so now we will do we will target the container okay container and inside this container we are having a rectangular shape okay so we will set the width to let's say 250 pixels and height is small so I think it should be 160 pixels let's see uh, okay we need to set now we will set the background color so let's set the background color to light gray save this okay we are having a nice one now we need to center this so we will do display flex and justify content so basically all the things would be in center align items would be also centers okay so basically display flex means like uh, first let's say we, i have done display flex so it will be in a line as it was but if i do justify content then it will come here now if i do align items would be center so it will come in the middle of the body so let's say if I remove this min height, minimum height, then it will not come into the center. Okay, so let's remove this. Okay, now let's see what is more in this. So basically we are having this box shadow. So let's do this. 
so we will do box shadow so zero for the x x axis and uh, let's say two pixels for the y axis and 15 pixels for the blur and we will do this black color let's see what's the result i think it's okay now what what is more so we are having this border radius so let's do border radius would be five pixels or let's say 15 pixels would work let's see the result okay it's good okay i think it's looking somewhere small so we will increase the width and height let's do for 300 pixels width and uh, 200 pixels height i think we should decrease let's say 190 pixels i think now it's looking perfect so now we will target the heading let's target okay so first we will increase the font size to 40 pixels let's save this okay now we will set the font family set for mono space it will look more creative okay it's same now i think the font weight should be bold so it should look more attractive okay now we will set the color to let's say dark green because in that one we are having dark green okay now we will set the text align to be center okay and i think that in this container we can have the padding for let's say 40 pixels or we can have for 20 pixels now it's looking nice uh, from the padding top we can have let's say four pixels uh, okay it's good now we need to increase the border radius so it should be 20 pixels now it's looking perfect okay now from the margin top we can do 10 pixels nice but i think we should increase the border radius and the box shadow let's increase the border radius to 40 pixels and box shadow the blur would be 30 pixels i think so check this i think we should decrease the border radius to 30 pixels okay we are perfectly done okay after the heading it's time for the uh, uh, emoji and the text so i will target the emoji and uh, let's increase the font size to 25 pixels now we will target the text and uh, we will set the font size to the same 25 pixels and the color would be black or i think we should change the color to the dark brown and let's save this it's nice now we will change the font family would be mono space let's save this good I think we should decrease some font size to 22 pixels let's see nice so we are done with it i think we should add the cursor pointer to this so this will be pointed okay now let's quickly uh, set the text align to center and this will be the same text align would be in center let's save this we are perfectly done now we need to do with the box wrap so we will do and now we will set the width to 50 pixels height would be also same 50 pixels and uh, the border radius would be 5 pixels so after box wrap we will do something uh, great like box wrap when the box wrap would be clicked so it will be hovered and the background color would be let's say a uh, light green or we can just change the shade okay so i think this color would match let's save this and see the result okay i think it's similar mostly similar so now it uh, now we need to work for the padding would be 15 pixels let's try this okay good i think it's nice 
now inside it we are having the box shadow so let's do this also in the box wrap we will do box shadow x axis would be 0 y axis would be 1 pixels and then the blur would be 20 pixels or 15 i think we should do 20 only and uh, let's say this color save this okay it's nice but i think we should set this when it will be hovered okay so let's uh, copy this and paste this here okay then we are perfectly done with this so um, now we need to add more to but we will not do the same process again we will just change the index.html so first i will copy this box wrap and paste it again here and in this box wrap i will add the second and uh, the emoji would be changed of course let's see for the good one okay this one let's write here good let's save this okay we are having c we have one more here okay so we will do the same process again we will just paste it and for the third one we will add the third do you know set this now for the bad one this emoji and let's write here bad okay this is the look see now we need to do it in a row so we will just do position relative to the body let's do position relative first we will just do position absolute to this from the top we can have let's say 230 pixels so these all things will have some space between the heading now we will just target the second one and from the left side we can have 450 pixels or 400 um, i think we should increase some size so 470 pixels would work okay now it's good now for the third one dot third now from the left side 550 pixels save this or we can increase some size for 570 pixels okay now i think it's looking pretty good i think we should increase some pixels from the top so it could be let's say 250 pixels or 245 so i think we should increase some size from the third one let's do this okay this is perfect okay guys we are completed with our project and congratulations if you make it and hope you share it on twitter and uh, I, my twitter account is in the description so make sure you follow me on twitter and get more content like this if you like it share it with your friends and thanks for watching